Hey, welcome to Pankaja Ayurveda. Very happy and honored to see you here again. And I want to talk today a little bit about the planetary situation right now. It's an, um, another eclipse coming up tomorrow, Monday, December 14. And um, it is said to be a really unsettled time. Maybe you experienced it. So I want to share some thoughts and uh, then one practical exercise we can do together just to um, calm down, to empower ourselves in these times of change. Hari Om. So, as I learned from uh, my masters and uh, from um, the Jyotishis, I listen to experienced Jyotishi myself. I only have a very small um, understanding of it and a more intuitional understanding from what I hear, very intellectual explanations. What I do is I try it to understand it through the heart and to share it. So see if that is something that is um, helpful for you and um, if you're really interested to learn about your own chart about your own individual astrological picture which is eye-opening if you want to experience that then i totally recommend go to an astrological vedic astrological master um, if you have the chance of course with dr wasant lad he's an ayurvedic master um, at the Ayurvedic Institute in Albuquerque and he is such a genius in Jyotish so I, I learned a little bit from him and from my other amazing um, teachers at the Ayurvedic Institute first of all uh, Mitesh Bai thank you so um, and uh, then there is so much on the YouTube to listen to for free and I just want to recommend uh, very few names the ones that I consider um, very interesting. I listen to them and they all offer consultations. So you can also always contact me. Um, but as I said, this would just be for like very, very basic information on that topic. I will still put my, uh, my website in the description box below. It's just pankaja.com. So um, the amazing Jyotishis I want to name um, here is Komila Sutton. And um, I will also, she offers also a, a class on Jyotish next year, which I um, consider to join. So um, I feel it's, she's, she's really uh, up to the point from what she explains. Very practical, very charming, very, um, very uh, much from the heart. Uh, she has a very motherly uh, quality. So if that's what you feel like you need right now, then I highly recommend Kamala Sutton. Um, a really very, very experienced genius. And then I just uh, make it short, just two other names. That's exotic astro astrology, exotic astrology, and uh, that's Punate's astrology. So both um, male Jyotishis, I, I really enjoy listening and learning from, and they also offer consultations. So maybe that's something for the new year, something, something you consider um, giving as a gift for yourself for more understanding, like similar as we do in Ayurveda, which is my main topic. Um, I work with um, Ayurveda and I also do consultations there, which has a similar interest of <clears throat> understanding yourself. And in uh, Ayurveda, we call it the Pakriti, your birth constitution. So how are all these uh, energies? There is five main, <clears throat> main elements which build up our body, which build up the other one's body and this room and this house and this tree and all around us. It's the Pancha Mahabhutas. And how these Pancha Mahabhutas, the five great elements, which is uh, space and air, fire, water and earth, how they come into play into your system, into your physiology and into your psychology. So that's very interesting. That's what makes us uh, different from each other. But there is something in us, some basis, some deep, deep, deep source, which is same, same as we say in the Ayurveda and in the spiritual traditions like the Advaita Vedanta. It is there is one soul, one being, one energy source that we all come from and we are all particles and glimpses of that it shines through us every one of us and it expresses in many different ways 
and we are here incarnated in different bodies with different families in different countries to make certain um, experiences and learnings and they are not always fun i agree to that some of them are fun and that's what we're here for and also to to realize this deep truth in ourselves, which is not changing which which goes constantly internal and connecting to that source which is atman the soul atman chikitsa is healing from this soul from this source that is what is just practically speaking deeply deeply grounding and helping balancing whatever instabilities may be there on your physical level on your health level on your mind and emotions and on your jyotish level that's what we are talking here about astrology so if there is uh, weaknesses in your chart we call chart your ayurvedic um your vedic astrological picture with these 12 houses with different areas of your life and some of them may have weaknesses others do have strength and that's for all of us we all have some houses some pavas that are weak or that have uh, planets in it that weaken them and make really hustle in our life and that is often repeated that in one area like it may be the work it may be a relationship or your health whatever it may be um, there may be um, continuous challenges there and you can work on that you can improve so some some is um, adaptable some is um, improvable with certain practices with even certain herbs there's even herbs that can be taken to improve your astrological chart so that was a long introduction i didn't mean that i tried to cut it very short and practical now because that's what you need to know for now is december we're in between two eclipses and uh, it was the um, it was the lunar eclipse on end of november and now tomorrow on monday december uh, december 14 we have a solar eclipse and in the time in between the eclipses is always more unstable unsettled so you might have experienced that on a personal level for sure on the world level like similar as this whole year is a really challenging one we can see that too in the vedic astrology and also how it was even announced long time ago so we have to go through this challenge and um, there may be a lot of good still coming out of it though it often does not at all feel like that believe me even for me i want to share the joy of life here it's not that i am in the joy of life 24 7. i have made extreme challenges like all of us and i train and i experiment with myself what helps from what i learned from my beautiful masters and whatever works for me i want to share with you thank you so this um, eclipse tomorrow is also in a new moon and it is in the scorpio in the jeshta nakshatra for those of you who know um, jyotish but they may listen to other experts so they will know and you will know now that this is a quite a a challenging constellation scorpio so an eclipse always brings change huge transformation often more for the world for the global level than for the personal level but it may be also on a very individual level depending on what is your ascendant what is your rashi what is your moon sign and then which houses which of your houses for example now are in scorpio um, in this um, in this constellation so then those may have a higher impact and if you are sun of course sun ascendant moon ascendant and then which sign is your moon in right so that that are some of the things that astrologer would look at your chart to see which of your areas are more impacted right now by the eclipse but impacted all of us we are so we may feel it more on our on the mind level on the that we feel very unstable very insecure and then actually that's the good advice stay calm if you can so if there is no most important decisions to take right now till it is said december 21 for sure because there we have the saturn jupiter conjunction and a lot of another planets going into a gadanta close to a gadanta level so this brings a lot of um, transformation again and a lot of like 
dust can come up from the from your basement, from your cellars, for you individually also, because Ketu is very dominant in December and he's a shadow planet, so he's very connected with your karma. So some issues can come up for you to face again or to solve. And if you integrate it, if you learn from it, then it can bring a lot of wisdom, even wisdom from previous lives. So it's a, it's a really beautiful time also in the midst of all this challenge we can see it as, as a chance, as a transformation chance. Because what is called Gadanta is when planets shift between uh, fire and water signs. So either they go from fire to water or from water to fire. And we can feel intuitively that this doesn't match fire and water, usually doesn't go together. So there is some friction there. And that's how um, one big point about these uh, Gandanta situations or close to Gandanta situations is that karmic knots are being brought to the surface to look at and to be transformed. And that's the beauty of it, to un nettle, <clears throat> to, to resolve it, to, to really dissolve something that you may carry since a long time back maybe even all your life, from your childhood, maybe a chronic disease or situation. So, of course, no promises. All that is uh, then in the hand of doctors on the physical level. But on a subtle level, a lot is in your hand and in the transformative power of the universe right now, where you can put it in, where you can ask for transformation of this issue you have. And it may be even something that you carry, your whole family carries, maybe since generations back. Because this is Ketu, is this very old karma that you may carry from birth to birth. And if planets go into these constellations, they give you actually a chance to say, okay, this one, I carried long enough now. I learned my lesson. So have you learned your lesson? Have I learned my lesson? That is what I'm asking myself. If I ask for dissolving of something in my life, have I really learned a lesson? And then I work on that. And even if I don't feel I don't know how, at least I can ask for it. At least I can put it into my consciousness that I know, at least if that is all I know, it is a struggling planetary constellation right now. But this situation brings a lot of freeing chances. So I'm just asking for the best transformation for me and my family and my beloved ones and the world, right? So this is something you can do. And um, as I said, trying to postpone decisions, big decisions, life decisions, because some of the areas in your life could be a little weakened right now. So maybe it's about um, spending big investments right now so of course depending on your chart this is like super generally spoken um, big decisions on where to move or uh, what to what to decide what to what to invest in starting something new it may not be the best time right now until december 21 and maybe even till the end of the year and let the new year start and give it a few days to really settle into the new year energy and take the time more to go inside if you can, if you can use those time. And I will share, I will share a beautiful practice that we do that we learned from Dr. Wasant Lad. And um, because it's so many words again now that I used and there is so many mantras given that are beautiful and you can get all these informations also from the which ones would fit for you specifically also from these masters and astrologers i mentioned so 